if he's Islamic king. But it's not all right when you line up civilians and slaughter them and rape the women and slaughter the men, rape the women, slaughter the men. People who did that, their names should not be flying on towns and streets and circles in our country, but unfortunately it is. I hope the future elected leaders of this nation have enough wisdom to change that. The Union Home Ministry has given approval for changing the name of Ahmednagar district in Maharashtra to Ahilya Nagar. Kilji guy, what's his name? Bhaktiar Kilji. Bhaktiar Kilji came in one university, the Nalanda University, he burnt, it's, it's estimated that he burnt nine million books, five hundred, six hundred years ago, nine million books. Nowhere on the planet there were nine million books anywhere. They he burnt for six months. That's what they say. Some people say it's twelve months, you're saying six months, it doesn't matter. There was no petroleum, so it is possible it took six months or twelve months. More than that, they burnt over, they say, eight to ten thousand monks, because most of them could recite one one book by themselves. So they thought books will live within you, so they burnt them also alive. So the incredible thing is, the modern day Bharat names that region as Bhakti Arpur. So this is one thing we must do. Vikram, you must write a book on this. There are Aurangzeb streets, Aurangabads, there are over sixty Aurangabads. There is Bhakti Arpur, there are Kutub Minar, a man who desecrated uh, both Hindu and Jain temples and built a monument out of that. There is of course uh, Sutipu Sultan. Most terrible things were done, over four hundred thousand Hindus were converted to Islam by force by Tipu Sultan, just in the Malabar region. Men were slaughtered, they say, in, in a chronicle written by, approved by his own son. That means it's genuine. They proudly claim he killed a minimum of ten thousand Hindus. And uh, men were killed, women were forced to marry, uh, on the same day of their husband's death. If they did not agree, hot iron was put into their privates. This is the way things were done. And I have nothing against Islamic rulers because that's our history. We allowed them to come and it happened. Kings who ruled benev benevolently, you want to put their name, it's fine. But murderers, rapists, people who tried to com commit genocide and des desecrated hundreds of temples, their names should not be on our towns and streets. So recently somebody invited me to their house because of some pilots were meeting, you know. They said, Sadhguru, you must come, you are a licensed pilot, you must be there, they will love it, just ten minutes you come and go. I said, okay, give me the address, I will come. Then uh, they gave me the address and it said Tugluk Road. I said, I'm not coming. <laughs> See, you must understand, not because he's Islamic king, because of what he's done, even if a Hindu king or a Christian like Robert Clive Street means I won't go. I said, you take a spray paint and paint that street board black, then I will come, otherwise I'm not coming to your house. Shamelessly, you are living on that street. I will not walk into that street. Why don't we have Adolf Hitler uh, Nagar? <laughs> Why don't we do this? Why don't we have Idi I mean, Idi I mean Nagar or uh, Puram? Why don't we? We don't do that. People who sh displayed extraordinary sense of cruelty, to other human beings, whoever they were, we don't elogize them. But today in this country, there are hundreds of towns, villages and cities and streets named after these people. I'm sure you can recount better, I am not good at numbers, names and dates. Sadhguru, in our uh, state, Karnataka, there's also Tipu Jayanti, forget towns, it's, we are also celebrating his birth. Tipu Jayanti, there was a Tipu Express. 
one of the worst tyrants even converted dead kurgis not only those living yes. but even the corpses the were kur converted. we think kurgs took the worst of the brunt that's not a fact it felt that way because the kurgs fought in other places there were no fighting men they just took it without so much resistance so it's not so well recorded kurgs really fought but 70000 kurgis were killed Guru. if you fight a battle and you get killed considering those times it was the order of the day it's all right it's all right if somebody comes and slaughters you in a battle but it's not all right when you line up civilians and slaughter them and rape the women and slaughter the men rape the women slaughter the men what is that people who did that their names should not be flying on towns and streets and circles uh, you know in our country but unfortunately it is i hope the future uh, elected leaders of this nation have enough wisdom to change that <laughs>